Today we're going to learn how to make stovetop popcorn. It's fast, it's easy, and with this simple trick, you'll see how to get it right every time. All you need to make stovetop popcorn are a saucepan, some popcorn kernels, vegetable oil, and a broom. First, add some oil to the saucepan, just enough to cover the bottom with a thin layer. Then you're going to want to add three kernels of popcorn into the saucepan. These will be our pilot kernels to tell us when the oil is hot enough. Set the heat to medium high. And now we just wait for the pilot kernels to pop. The taste makes a big difference. Um, I really think that after a whole bag of microwave popcorn, it just starts to feel a little bit sick. Too many preservatives, too much extra stuff. Once the pilot kernels pop, then we can add the rest of the popcorn. When I was younger, we would always eat microwave popcorn, and I didn't really know it at the time, but you could just make it on the stove. It's a lot cheaper. It's a lot healthier. We did have a popcorn machine, but most of the time it just kind of sat around and so top popcorn. There's only a simple trick to it, and once you get the hang of it, and there's the last one. All right. Remove it from the heat. Is that enough kernels to cover the bottom of the pan? And give it a little shake. And here's where the trick is. All you have to do before you put it back on the heat, you count to 30 with the popcorn kernels in the warm oil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. 10, 11, 12, 30. Now with that out of the way, we can add the warm popcorn kernels to the heat and turn it up to medium high. A simple method of warming up makes it so that you won't be left with a bunch of unpopped kernels at the bottom of the pan. Oh, there it goes. Now, you might be tempted to think that a microwave popcorn would be a whole lot easier, but you haven't really thought it through. What if you wanted to go camping? Are you going to bring a microwave with you? You don't have to use butter, so it's dairy-free. There's no preservatives. There's no nitrates. You're going to want to make sure that you, you kind of shake the pan a little bit here and there in order to make sure all those kernels get up. Uh, that'll help uh, evenly spread out the heat amongst all the remaining unpopped kernels. Careful not to get too close to it, though. Once you don't hear any more popping, or the popping becomes a little far and few between even after you're shaking it, you want to go ahead and turn off the heat. Remove it from the heat source. This is where the broom really comes in handy. Makes it simple and easy to gather up. You don't necessarily need a broom for this part, but it does tend to make it a little bit easier. You just come around and you scoop them all in, just like that. Make sure you don't get any hot oil on you. Don't want to miss any. A burnt kernel or two, but it's really not a big deal. And now you can sit back and enjoy a delicious bowl of homemade stovetop popcorn.